Hello everybody, Johnny G, Naked Racer Moto Co. Great to see you again. Look what we've got here. This is what they call the Dusenberg of motorcycles. It is a 1939 four-cylinder inline engine bike. They're called a four-cylinder Indian. They made them from 1928 right through to 1942. And this particular bike, being a 39, is one of the most desirable. Um, it's the last year with the Briggs Weaver guards, which I believe are the prettiest guards that they came with. The very next year they had rear suspension, they had the big Valance guards. They look good, but I think this is better. Now this bike here, the engine was done in America by Larry Strzok, a foremost Indian four-cylinder expert. And, uh, and the bike was restored by a very famous Australian Indian motorcycle collector, Peter Arundel, and, um, and it was painted by Roy Bogner, one of the most renowned classic motorcycle painters. And um, so it has all the pedigree you could ask for on this bike. So this bike has got World's Fair paint because in 1939 was the World Fair year and they have this stripe, traditional stripe. Um, it has the kidney dash with 130 mile an hour Corbett speedometer, the Indian scripted amp gauge, the Indian scripted horn face, the moto lamp headlight with the special moto lamp glass. All these beautiful little things make these what they are. Um, you can see the exhaust, it's just a, it's a work of art. The bike really is a work of art. The famous Henderson brothers made the first some of the first four-cylinder motorcycles. Later on, bought out by Ignatius Schwinn, the bicycle manufacturer. Then one of the brothers left and started the Ace Motorcycle Company, which made four-cylinder motorcycles. And um, the other brother left Schwinn, came and worked. The brothers were back together, everything was looking rosy until one of them was killed whilst test riding one of their bikes. Um, not long later, the Ace Motorcycle Company was sold to Indian in 1927, Indian just wrote Indian above Ace, and it was called an Indian Ace. And in 28, it became the Indian Four. And then they made them all the way through to 1942. And obviously, with America going into the war, uh, the factory was busy making motorcycles for the war effort. The four cylinder was dropped, and it was never picked up again when the war finished in 45. So this bike, is just as good as it can get. It has the five bearing engine, the beautiful Briggs Weaver guards, the World's Fair paint, all the right bits and pieces, ripping numbers, matching numbers, engine and frame. This is a real blue chip investment motorcycle and bringing, you know, about $200,000 in America the thing I love about these motorcycles is that engine. That engine is straight out of an aircraft of the period, you know, early aviation. It sounds like an aeroplane. Fours have a very unique sound of their own. I'm going to start this one up so you can hear it. Smooth as silk start very easily, certainly didn't need an electric starter in the day, that's for sure. Anyway, we're going to ride this bike, so we'll see you out on the road. And second gear, and just so smooth to ride, and top gear. Just burrs along. Just sound. Listen to that engine. It's very fitting that we're riding past all these aeroplanes here because it feels so at home at an airport. This bike is for sale at Naked Racer Motorco. If you'd like to own it, come and see me.